Um, hello, my name is Ray. I've been vegan for the past two years. I quit dairy three years ago and I quit eating meat at the age of 12, so six years ago. Um, I come from Kazakhstan, so I used to consider myself to be the first vegan who is Kazakh, but maybe not. I don't really care. But basically, I wanted to say that the culture does not dictate what you eat. And the people around you are just people around you. What matters is what you think here and here. I also would like to say um, the thing that is probably obvious to most of the vegans and vegetarians, but I would, I would still like to say that. Um, dairy industry is the same as meat industry and the number one reason for Amazon rainforest deforestation is cattle raising and livestock, obviously. Um, I would like to say that we, we currently have enough food to feed all of the people. Like the people, the children who are struggling in Yemen, in Somalia, in uh, East Timor and parts of Indonesia, children in Africa, starting from Kenya and even Togo and ending in Angola, Namibia, Mozambique, countries like that. Currently, United States grows enough food to feed 500 million people. That, that is the data of 2016 provided by National Department of, of Food. Um, basically, that food can feed not only the population of the United States alone, but the rest of the food that is basically extra food. We can just donate it to other countries, for example, or sell it at a cheap price. It's still, it's still money coming to the country and it's not taxpayers' money. Um, so in that, in that sense, the, the global problem of, of hunger would be solved as well. Uh, Amazon rainforest deforestation also solved if, if people switch to veganism. Even if they switch to a Mediterranean lifestyle, that would be enough. Um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, the, the number one reason for climate change, I don't know if you believe it in it or not. Most likely you don't believe in it if you were born in six, 1960s and 70s. But basically, I believe it happens. And the reason for that is, again, livestock. Livestock produces um, carbon monoxide, which is... No, it, it produces methane, which is even deadlier than carbon monoxide. But that's another topic of conversation. Obviously, I'm going to leave all of the sources that I used to explain my point of view uh, down below in, in the description of the video. You can go ahead and educate yourself, like get familiar with the facts, etc, etc. But that was my opinion. I would like to add that I do not believe that meat eaters are bad people. I think most of the meat eaters are actually good people who have never been educated up upon such uneasy topics as this one, as veganism and the global change. Uh, I believe that we can, we can prosper by educating each other, by teaching each other the things that we learned ourselves that were once uneasy and once unknown and mysterious and, and, and scary to ourselves as well. That's why we have the duty, we have the honor and responsibility to take action to educate others and to be more active in one's life. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day.